Hello, good to see you back at Storytime for Serena. We're having a colourful story today that takes place under the sea. It's called Top Place Percy and it's all about a talent contest that the sea creatures enter. The story is written by Peter Bentley and the illustrations are by Daniel Haworth. Top Place Percy Percy is going to the fair. His friend Sprat whizzes past. See you at the fair, slow coach, calls Sprat. I wish I was as zippy as Sprat, thinks Percy. Angelfish nearly bumps into Percy. Sorry, Percy, she says. I didn't see you among all the mud and rocks and seaweed. I wish I was bright and colourful as angelfish, thinks Percy. Pufferfish tumbles by and puffs himself up like a big spiky balloon. <gasps> Everyone laughs. I wish I was a cool, fun shape like Pufferfish, thinks Percy. Oh, look at Percy. He doesn't like the way he looks. He wants to be a cool, fun shape like Pufferfish. Percy and his friends have great fun at the fair. They ride on the big wheel and the merry-go-round, the helter-skelter and the dodgems. Look at that, those are crabs that they're riding on top of, bumping into each other. Roll up, roll up for the talent show, cries Lobster. Come on, says Sprout, let's enter. Sprat enters the competition for the fastest fish. Angelfish enters the competition for the most colourful fish. And Pufferfish enters the competition for the funniest fish. Aren't you going to enter the talent show, Percy? Asks Angelfish. There's no point, sighs Percy, swimming sadly away. I'm nobody special. Only a slow, dull, flat, boring fish. Suddenly, Percy's three friends race toward him. Help! Help! cries Sprat. Shark is coming. I might be fast, but he's much faster than me. If only I wasn't so colourful, gasps Angelfish. Shark will spot me easily. Me too, wails Pufferfish. I don't think he feels like laughing. Don't panic, says Percy. I've got an idea. Tee hee, cackled Shark. I just saw some tasty looking fish nipping behind the rock. It's time for my dinner. He swims closer and closer and closer and finds nothing. Bah, grumbles Shark. Only mud and rocks and seaweed. And with a flick of his tail, he speeds off. What do you see over there? I can see a few little eyes peeping out under that place. That's Percy lying over there. Phew! says Sprat. Thanks for hiding us, Percy. That was close. Nice one, Percy. Let's get back to the fair, says Sprat. Lobster is announcing the women, winners of the talent show. And the fastest fish award goes to Sprat. And the most colourful fish award goes to Angelfish. And the funniest fish award goes to Pufferfish. But the top place in the talent show goes to Percy Plays for being the best.
best at hiding and the best at helping his friends, says Lobster. Hooray for Percy, cheers Pufferfish. It's top place for a top place. And there Percy wins his award. Look at that beautiful trophy that the lobster is giving him. There's the lobster. There's Percy Place. He's getting top place for being best at hiding and for best at helping his friends. There's his friends Pufferfish and Sprat and the Angelfish. And they are all cheering him on. Hooray for Percy! Should we have a look at these pictures again? It's such a beautiful book. There they are, with the lobster carrying the winner. Percy's carrying him up high. Percy feels that he's just not fast enough when his friend Sprat goes zooming past. And he wishes that he was faster at swimming. And here, Angelfish says that she couldn't see him amongst the, gra the, the seaweed and the sand and the rocks. So Percy thinks that he needs to be more colourful. And here, the pufferfish puffs himself up and makes everybody laugh. Look at that. And Percy thinks he wishes he was cool like the pufferfish. At the fair they have plenty of fun riding on all the rides. He has an octopus and he's made a big wheel ride. Each one of these other fish are riding around on the big wheel. And there's a merry-go-round. That's a starfish that's making a merry-go-round. And here they're all riding on the helter skelter. It's like a big slide that goes round and round and round the spiral. And here they are riding the dodgems. It looks like crabs that are the dodgem cars and they're all going for the ride. And then the lobster announces the talent contest. Roll up, roll up for the talent contest. And of course Percy is sad because he doesn't think that he can enter the competition for the fast fish or for the colourful fish, or for the funniest fish. Look at all these amazing fishes. There's a long skinny one with great big googly eyes. And here's a beautiful colourful one with a big bottom lip. He does look quite funny, doesn't he? And that's a seaweed. And there's a strange looking fish. And of course our friend the puffer fish. And Percy says, nobody will think I'm special. I'm only a slow, dull, flat, boring fish. But of course, when the shark comes along, suddenly it doesn't matter if you fast because the shark is faster. And it, doesn't, it is a problem when you're colourful because then the shark can really see you. And doesn't matter how funny you are, the shark's not going to laugh. And then Percy comes up with a good idea to save his friends. As the shark swims closer and closer, looking for the fish that he spied, he can see nothing. And why is that? It's because Percy, the flat, boring fish, actually was very clever because he decided to hide his friends. They're hiding there under him. And he's lying flat on the ground on the ground. And the shark couldn't see them. Everybody was so grateful to Percy that they had been saved. And when it was time for the winners of the competition to be announced, all the prizes were given out. One for the fastest fish, one for the colourful fish, one for the funniest fish. But the big grand prize went to Percy. There he is. Percy got the great big grand prize. First place 
for Percy the Place for helping his friends and for being the best at hiding. Wow, what a wonderful story. It's great to help your friends, isn't it? Have you been helped by a friend once before? Have you helped your friends? I'm sure you have. Thank you for joining me for this beautiful story. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, Serena. Bye-bye, everybody. Mwah.